Hey, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. So we're going to redo our lance a little bit. We picked up a Warhammer uh, in the last two missions that we did, and we picked up a few other things like uh, Clan LRM-20s, which are awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to refit the lances slightly. I don't really like Blackjack, so we're going to pull the Blackjack out of service here just for now. So we're just going to put that straight into our uh, um, storage um, just to get it out of here. The Vindicator here, the... Uh, the butcher we're just going to refit that real quick and we're going to pull everything off of this guy now he's going to replace the blackjack so we're just going to strip everything off because we want all this stuff for our our warhammer so we're just going to strip all the equipment and just confirm now in order to be able to survive the extra month it's been a month been a month since i last played um, in game that is and um, we went through a scenario where Height uh, took a little bit of an injury, but we were able to repair all the mechs and sell a whole bunch of stuff. So we were able to get a bunch of money back. So now we can spend a little bit of time to refit before we get back in action. We're still in the Lothian League territory, same planet. So we're going to refit this Warhammer real quick. So let's strip all the gear, let's max out the armor, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into equipment, and we're going to drop in the stuff that we know we're going to need. So we want the arm mounts for the arms. Definitely for sure. We're going to put the Clan Ferro fibers back in. We're going to go down and we're going to find the Clan XL engine. We're going to put that in. We have uh, the exchanges will go in in a minute. We want to get, I'm thinking, uh, I'm, I'm kind of at a toss up between a 250 or a 245 engine. Uh, the difference is only half a ton. Um, let's go with the 250 for now. We can always pull it out if we're not really happy with it. So the XL gyro we definitely want. And then we're going to drop in, where are you here, the double heat sink kit. We definitely need that. We're also going to drop in, uh, PVC capacitor will definitely be going in. Let's just put that in for now. Let's put this in. We're going to need the TTS plus three energy up in here. Um, now we might actually add an Artemis system in a second, but I'm not sure yet. So we're going to go up. What else do we need here? So that was all that stuff. Um, we definitely need our exchangers. So we're going to drop three exchangers in this guy um, for now uh, and we're going to go up here what else we need we need the warfare suite which is what we had from our um, butcher the cockpit with plus one accuracy we'll take that one and I think that's it from this area here so we're looking pretty good so far 40.81 tons left so we've got uh, almost 30 tons for weaponry and heat sinks so we're going to go to our lasers here first, and we're going to find our clan ER PPCs, and we're going to put one of those in each arm. And then we're going to look for, um, let's go to our missiles. Now we've got two choices here. We can use um, the regular LRM-20 rack, which we picked up. Now it's got plus one damage, and plus one evasion ignore, and plus one accuracy. That's a pretty good weapon. Um, actually, before we move any further here, we're going to move these over to the other side because we are going to be putting an LRM in this side. So let's just do this for now. And then what we can do is we can either use a Clan LRM-20, which will leave us a lot of tonnage left over, or we can go with a more accurate one that does more damage. Now I'm thinking maybe with this first build, um, we're going to try it with a lighter... Hmm could go with the lighter LRM-20 or we could go with the bigger one. We're not going to have much stuff for heat sinks if we go that route. So let's go with the lighter one for now. Now we're going to need some ammo. We're definitely going to need at least two tons of ammo. So let's get LRM plus one accuracy ammo and a regular LRM ammo. Now if we do put an Artemis system in, we can go with the Artemis ammo. Uh, does this actually have Artemis system? It does not. Not in a clan one. Okay. So what are we at here? We've got about 10 tons left over for heat sinks. So actually I think we're going to pull some off the back armor here because this guy's going to be a ranged fighter. So we're going to pull a bunch of armor off of the back here. And actually let's leave this at 70 and take these down to 60 each. So we're going to go around that, that area right there. Now heat sinking for the LRM clan is 18. So, Alpha Strike is 66, Heat Sinking is 78. I don't think that's actually accurate because the PPCs are increased by 20% heat each. So these guys do 
45, so 90, so 108, and then 118, 126, and then we're minusing 45%. So that is actually pretty close. So it looks like we're, our heat sinking is actually quite good. So this is going to give us, this ammo will give us 12, this is how many rounds? Eight, 80 rounds, so it's 10 rounds of firing with the LRM. Interesting. So, hmm, do we want to go with the Artemis system or not? This is three tons, is it not? It's two tons. So we drop an Artemis in. Let's move the Warfare Sweep back over to this side. Artemis, and then perhaps, uh, and maybe an extra ton of ammo? We could put some smaller weapons in too. That's the other thing, maybe a couple of medium lasers or something. But do we really need that? Cooling pod. These things are great because of losing percent heat generated. So let's put a couple of these guys in. I'm not really sure what this heat sinking is going to come out to be. And then we can probably go back. Let's go to weapons. And go to lasers again. And we're going to go down. I think maybe we're going to grab... Um, we want, we got a couple of clan medium pulse lasers that we could use. A regular medium ER. The bonus accuracy we're going to keep for the, um, the butcher that we're going to be building. So maybe we just put, let's try this. We'll go this route. Um, I think maybe we will add another ton of ammo. So that's going to be 16 turns of firing. I don't know, is that really worth it though? Heat efficiency is dropping. So, um, we don't have any heat banks. That'd be nice if we did. I think I'm going to keep the ammo. Actually, we can pull out. Let's take out this LRM ammo. And put in the Artemis ammo, which I think actually gives has more rounds. It does. So that's going to be 140. So that's going to be 12, 13, 13 rounds of firing, if my math is correct. So that's pretty good. I think we'll go that route. Lots of good chances to hit here. Lots of good chances to hit with the PPCs. Um, so this guy's going to be a, a really good sniper. We want to perhaps look at heat sinking now. So let's go to our heat sinks. I think we've got a few doubles hanging around. We've got a clan double we can drop in here. And then just a couple of regular double heat sinks. I think we'll finish it up. Oh, we're out of space. And perhaps just a regular heat sink in here then. Maybe drop it in the leg. So heat sinking. Yeah. It's really hard to know though because I'd have to do the math on all this. But I th I'm thinking we're probably going to be okay. We'll know for sure in the first battle we, we take this thing into, but I'm thinking we've got a pretty good slugger here. Um, we're definitely going to be punching above our weight with this guy for sure. So it's a 32-day wait period, so we're going to confirm this. Then we're going to work on our butcher. The butcher, we don't quite have um, what we had originally, so let's refit him. So this is going to be the lead mech of our second lance. Now we can look at putting some good stuff into this guy. So I think he had a 225 engine in him before. So let's look at the engines. Uh, whoops. So we want to go here. We'll put a 225 back in him, I think. Mm, or maybe a 210. Let's lower. Oh, how much weight difference is that? It's only one ton. Let's do that. Um, we're going to put a Clan XL in. Because we've got it. And... Oh, we have a regular XL engine, which we can sell now, too. Uh, double heat sinks will probably be dropping in here because we're going to be adding... Let's go to weapons real quick. Actually, finish this, finish this off here. So we need ferrofibrous probably, more than likely. And we're going to go down, and I think we've got... Yeah, Clan Endosteel still. And we picked up another Gyro XL. We can drop that in. And now we can start laying out the weapons here. So we, want, we do definitely want to have a, the PPC back in the arm. 
Either that or we can go with two clan ER larges. That's the uh, that's the other option. A triple plus PPC uh, does way more stability damage. Heat's 35, very long range. So I'm thinking this guy's probably, you know, other than the fact that it's heavier, uh, it's probably good to go with that. So let's make sure we get our arms back in here. And then let's do... We need a good cockpit in here. So let's put a TC cockpit plus one to hit. Uh, we want the ECM back in here, I think. So let's drop that back in. Um, we've still got lots of good weight here. I don't think we have a PPC capacitor for this guy, which is unfortunate. We don't. Oh yes, the TTS plus two energy we want to put in, because this guy is definitely going to be an energy build. So let's go to weapons. We have lost the... Um, the um, exchanger in this guy now. So we're going to have to be careful about our heat here. So maybe we can do... I'm wondering if we should just do... Because of the weight on these guys, they're four times as opposed to seven. Is the stability damage really worth it? Let's try this. Let's leave that one out for now. And let's try with the clan ERs. Put these two guys in. Heat sinking has dropped dramatically, but we knew that was going to happen. And then we've got two mediums. We can put one on each arm with the bonus to hit. Um, and then let's look at the heat sinking here. So I'm going to go our equipment, heat sinking. We're definitely going to put the double heat sinks in. We're definitely going to need those. Uh, and then just regular heat sinks, I think. If we keep it uh, built like this, we're definitely going to need a ton of heat sinks, though. What do we got here, heat-wise? He Alpha Strike is 90, 54 heat. Yeah, so that's a huge problem, right? So I don't know if we can actually go with this build. A couple more tons. We're out of space. Hmm. Do we take armor? Average range. What are we going to do here? So we do have missiles here we can use instead. So maybe we then, let's maybe reconsider this build a little bit here. Let's pull the heat sinks out, all the regular ones. We'll leave the doubles in for now. The other way we can load this guy out, I mean, we've already got huge missile builds already. So let's take these lasers out. Let's go to weapons, and we'll put the PPC in. It weighs a little more for both the same damage, but the stability, I'm thinking, if we're going to have only one big weapon in, the stability is going to be, you know, the bonus for this guy. is that extra, the 32 stability rather than 9. Um, major difference. So that we're still going to be really good with our heat here. Um, if we go with missile systems, I mean, we could go with an LRM-15, 7 tons. Uh, we do have an LRM-20 clan left over. We could put a 5-ton clan LRM-20 in. That's an option. Uh, we do have the heavier LRM-20 with accuracy and, st and um, evasion ignore and extra damage. But that's gonna, that'll be it. We put this in and we're done. And I don't think that this mech is actually better off that way. The streaks are nice, but the heat is ridiculous. They do have a bonus to hit, plus two. Um, plus two accuracy, plus two evasion ignore. TBM-20 is overweight for what we need it for. SRM-4 is a possibility. Two tons plus a ton of ammo. Then we could drop the SRM-6 in. We still only have one ton of ammo is all we would need. It's ten turns of firing. That's what, 14, 20... Hmm. So if we go SRM4, SRM6, a ton of ammo. We do have dead fire ammo. Just put the regular ammo in for now. See, we're still going to run into the same problem. We're going to run into a space issue here. We can put in a couple of accuracy medium lasers and the rest heat sinks. So we can put five heat sinks in. 
which would be 15, which would give us 51. Our alpha strike's way over. Um, so that's not the route to go. So do we have, we don't have any ballista. We do have one ballistic hard point on the arm here. So maybe we try something a little different. What if we go this route? Actually, I'm going to get a little crazy here for a second. Autocan 20 Ultra, 16 tons. And then 4 tons of ammo. We can pull out the double heat sinks, which would give us a couple of extra tons. We need to add two regular heat sinks. Before I forget, we just have to do that because we uh, we get two heat sinks for free to bring the engine up. So we need to put those in first. So we know we have to use the space up for those. But AC20 Ultra, I mean, that's a possibility. Or, I mean, we've already got a Gauss rifle running with us. AC5 Rotary, 14 tons. But then we'd need a, a crap ton of ammo. And that's all we would be able to put on here. Not much of a support vehicle if you've only got one weapon. Interesting. AC5 Ultra, 9 tons. With 1 ton of ammo is 10 tons. That would bring us up to 35. And how much heat does this do? 18? So if we put an AC5 Ultra in, and then our PPC. That's possibility. AC-10 Ultra Clan is how much? 10. And we need at least 3 tons of ammo would be 13. And then the PPC. Then we would do serious problems with heat. AC-2 Rotary is 4 shots at 12 tons though. It's like those are almost completely useless. Goss rifle. We've already got a Goss. Well, yeah, what about the Hack 20? That's 10 tons. And it's 4 shots at 30. Damage fall off, 15 damage variants. We're not doing very well with Goss rifles either. So I'm thinking we're going to go back to the energy build. I think we'll do that. Let's keep it trying to keep it heat neutral. So we'll drop the PPC in first and our two medium lasers because we know we need the accuracy with medium lasers. So we're at what for heat here? Not too bad. Let's go to our equipment. We're pretty much going to be pretty much what we, the same as we had on the other mech. Uh, let's find out here. Let's go down and get some heat sinking. So we'll add one, two, three more heat sinks. We're getting pretty close here. Yeah, four heat sinks. And then we've got seven tons left. If we're going with lasers, we could go with an ER medium. And the rest is heat sinks. We only got three slots left though. We'd have to pull out the ferrofibrous armor. Unless we switch it to just. That's still going to be 70 heat. Can we sink 70? Let's see here. Let's see if we can do that. Clan ER large gives us five. That's another 15 heat sinking. That's pretty darn close to 70. We only put four in though. Unless we pull out this and just go with lower arm. Because we don't really need the melee on this guy. And then we can go this way and grab one, two, three four, five heat sinks. Let's spread them out evenly here. So that's 45. We got two big lasers on this thing and that would be it. I'm not really sure if that's really... I mean, I, c I can't think of much else to do right now with this guy. So I think maybe that's what this guy's going to be, just a long range fire support for the moment. So I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. If we get a double heat sink kit, that's going to solve all the problems with this mech. That's what that's what made him good before. So our average range is super far. Movement's relatively slow. Firepower is not really that great. And then but we've got really good heat efficiency, which is great. So let's confirm this. I'm gonna go that route. 
All right, so we'll be back in a few minutes once these guys have been uh, up to sp up to speed here and ready to go. All right, here we are back in the mech bay, and our mechs are back. So our Warhammer is ready to go. Two pulse lasers, two clan ERs, and an LRM-20. I'm definitely looking forward to getting that guy into some combat. And the uh, um, Butcher is back again for our second lance as the commander with the uh, PPC and the uh, clan ER large. So, yeah, I think we're going to end this episode. I know it was really quick, but we'll end it. And then when we come back next time, uh, we're going to jump in for a couple of quick battles here, I think. If you'll have a quick look at the contracts here. We've got a... Um, there's a four and a half skull mission here. It's an escort in the Badlands. I'm thinking we're probably going to take this one. It's relatively... Escorts are actually pretty good because it's really only four mechs at a time that we're going to be facing. So I'm thinking we can probably pull this one, one off pretty pretty easily. And then we, we might take the Lost Air, either uh, two and a half or maybe a two skull with, with our uh, Pirate Lance. But those will be the next missions coming up. But until that time... Um, if you like these episodes that I've been uh, doing, feel free to subscribe and throw a like down. Um, and, um, you know, hopefully uh, in the next little while we'll be able to expand our main lands from one heavy to um, four. Uh, we've got a few components that we can possibly uh, throw together our mechs from, like we're pretty close to getting a catapult and a couple of other things. So, yeah. So, um, until next time, I'll see you later.